your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. All right, once again, a first alert weather alert from noon Saturday all the way through midnight Monday night. And the reason for that, tropical storm hurricane Hillary moving steadily towards Southern California, likely a tropical storm by the time it arrives here. Heavy rainfall expected, gusty winds. We could see flooding and power outages, and we could also see uh, that significant rain continuing into Monday. Right now we're at 89 degrees in Palm Springs. It's 88 in Cathedral City and Thousand Palms and La Quinta, 87 in Indio. It's a little cooler this morning. It's also a little drier. The dew points are down in the 40s, and primarily the 40s and low 50s is a little bit more humid down toward the Salton Sea, but predominantly a drier start to the day. It's not going to last long. We're going to start to see that humidity moving back in tomorrow. Uh, there are some spotty thunderstorms up in the high desert. We've been watching those. They're beginning to thin out a little bit, but through the overnight hours, a pretty good lightning show up to our north, mainly in the Mojave Preserve. Uh, but for us, the big story is this. And this is Hurricane Hillary, now a Category 4 storm, and it will gradually start turning northward, already moving in a northerly direction, but right now more north and west. It's going to move more due north. And so this is the line, the track that we're expecting it to follow uh, and pushing it into Baja Saturday and then sliding late Saturday night into Sunday into Southern California. And again, likely to arrive here as a tropical storm. That doesn't happen very often. The last time we saw a tropical storm move into California was in 1997. So it doesn't happen often. Now that storm system is likely to bring a lot of rain and gusty winds, probably thunder and lightning as well. Remember, it's a tropical system. It will retain tropical characteristics even as it moves farther to the north. The flood watch goes into effect for Saturday and lingers into Monday, and there is especially concern around recent burn scars for mudslides, mud flow. Now, the rainfall begins as we head into Saturday night. Uh, we're going to see probably light to moderate showers, but then overnight into Sunday morning, a little bit more significant rainfall moves in. This is Sunday at 10 a.m. Still doesn't look all that dramatic. They're still looking at an inch or less of rainfall, but then we move into Sunday afternoon and evening, and that's where we start to see some really significant rain pushing into three inches. And as we work our way on into Monday, we could see upwards of four to even six inches of rain here on the valley floor. And we're kind of right in the heart of where the heaviest rainfall is going to occur. So that is likely to bring us some pretty significant rainfall totals. And that generally means flooding around the region. If you're going to be out toward the coast, the rainfall is going to be a lot lighter. The track is bringing it up through this uh, inland part of California. And those the slopes, the southern and eastern facing slopes are likely to see as much as seven to 10 inches of rain. So uh, high likelihood of some mudslides in the region. Temperatures today topping out around 110 again, slightly drier. Not a bad looking day, but tomorrow starts to change quite a bit into the evening hours. Weather alert day Saturday, Sunday and on into Monday. Widespread rain Sunday and Monday. Showers developing late Saturday and then we dry out a little bit next week. We're going to see temperatures in the 90s and low 100s. Humidity will linger. This is going to leave a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. So there's still even a possibility of some pop up thunderstorms through the middle of the week. But a significant storm nonetheless. Do your best to prepare and we will keep you posted. Make sure you download our first alert weather alert app on your phone. That way you get the latest information, even if you're not near television. We'll be right back. You're watching News Channel 3, the Desert's News Leader.